Hi, my name is Wes Farnell and I'm from 8 Ounce Coffee. Today we're going to be talking about the Fellow Ode. It's the latest product from the Fellow brand, a design-oriented brand that just concentrates on not just design but, but great functionality and product. The Ode is their latest offering. This isn't released until the end of this month, so the end of October 2020. However, we're in the fortunate position of being able to have this grinder for over six months now. So this is a pre-production version. And that will be the difference between this and other reviews you'll see, is that we've actually been using this in our office day in, day out for over six months now. So we can give you a little more insight into what's good about it and maybe what's not so good about it. So the first thing we want to talk about is its size. It's pretty compact. In fact, when we received this the first time, we were surprised how short it was. It's only around 25 centimeters high, which is perfect for putting in small spaces underneath cupboards at home, really makes it a much less dominating piece of your kitchen or coffee setter. It's around four and a half kilograms, so it's got a really good weight to it, stops vibration, uh, and it feels solid. It feels like it's a, a really solid piece of equipment. One of the reasons it's shorter is that it has a restricted hopper size. Now this is designed specifically to make sure that people are grinding as they need to brew. Make sure your coffee is the freshest and it's really how everyone who is drinking good coffee should be grinding their coffee. I know it's not always convenient, but it really does give you the best output. Now the capacity of this hopper is 80 grams. So that's gonna be more than enough for any brew method uh, from a manual pour over up to something like a, a, an electric brewer like this here. As we move further down, you'll notice that this is a solid grinder. It has a uh, metal body, uh, aluminum body, and it has some stainless steel parts for uh, the catcher. Uh, and a, just a couple of plastic parts. You're gonna find the lid and the, also the lid of the ground spin here. As we work down the grinder, uh, we're next gonna go to the grind setting here. Uh, it is a stepped grinder and it goes from one all the way up to 11. And within each uh, measure, you've got three different settings. So it'll step all the way. We generally use seven to nine for most pour overs and electric brewers. And you can adjust accordingly for other, uh, other brew methods. On the final version, you'll also find a guide which is printed on the inside, which gives you recommendations for different grind levels depending on your brewer. Another really important feature is uh, this little knock tab here. Now you'll find this on commercial grinders, a lot of commercial grinders, and what it does, it basically knocks out any remaining coffee grounds from the chute and the burr into your grinds bin here. As we move further down, one of my really favorite and most ingenious features is associated with the grind spin. Firstly, the grind spin has a silicon lid and you'll see on the inside that it has some fins which help you pour out the coffee and we'll talk more about that in a second. But on the bottom, you'll see a clear piece of metal and it matches a clear piece of metal on here. The hole here is quite small, so we wanna make sure that coffee doesn't escape and miss the hole. So this is actually magnetized. You push this in and it will make sure that it's always in place. So really quite cool. One of the most ingenious and innovative features that we've found on this. Going back to that bin, these fins are designed to help you pour out coffee. Now we've found on smaller amounts of coffee that works really well, but when you get to larger amounts, you really want to go to the other side and pour straight out. Otherwise you get coffee coming over the edges and just generally making a little bit of a mess. But the nice thing is you have those options on this. Finally, when we get to the bottom, we have the on off switch. Now, obviously this is really important. It's the only switch on there. Uh, it's the only thing to operate this and you literally press it on and it starts and then you can press it to stop. One of the nicest things about this is if we do put coffee in, and I'm gonna note this is 20 grams, so you want you to see how quickly this grinds as well. If we press the start button, so that ground 20 grams in around five seconds. And that beep there is another one of our favorite features about this grinder, which you won't find on any other grinder in this price range. Uh, it's an auto stop. So this is a filter grinder. So it doesn't have the flexibility of some grinders, which will let you go from all the way from Turkish coffee all the way up to uh, French press. But it does what it does very, very well. And for those people who don't need espresso, this has got to be one of the best solutions. From a price perspective, we're looking at around 420 Canadian dollars or about 300 US dollars. They're going to be released towards the end of this month. You can also place pre-orders now on the 8 Ounce Coffee website if you want to make sure that you don't miss out.